There are two variations of Goku and Vegeta fusion. Gogeta and Vegito, both the fusions are immensely popular among the fans. And finally, we have reached a stage where they might fuse again. Fusion is certainly not a thing Vegeta or Goku loves to do. They prefer fighting individually, so we can only expect them to fuse when there is no other way to defeat the enemy. In episode 64, Goku Black and Zamasu fused using the Potara earring and became the supreme god Zamasu. Combining the power of Black and immortality of Zamasu, they are now almost unstoppable. Goku, Vegeta or Trunks can't defeat them fighting individually. From the recent title and preview reveals, we know that this fused Zamasu has developed a wall of light or ring of life which is working as a shield for them and can eliminate anything that it touches. So that could only mean we have finally reached that stage where there is no other option but for Goku and Vegeta to fuse. We have also received many hints that the fusion is coming from different sources, like for example Dragon Ball Heroes. So at this point it is almost confirmed that they will fuse. Now the question is, will it be Vegito or Gogeta? Vegito is canon and since Dragon Ball Super has been quite strict in terms of following the canon continuity, it will most probably be Vegito and some other factors of the story suggest so too. Gawasu and Supreme Kai is there on the battlefield, obviously they will end up helping in one way or the other. If they could somehow manage to go back to the past breaking the rules and bring the seal, that would be one purpose. But from what has been established till now, it is not possible to time travel backward using the time ring. Unless they introduce something new, that is not going to happen. So ultimately the value the Kaioshins are going to add is most probably assisting Goku and Vegeta to fuse allowing them to use the Potaro earring. So this is a theory that leads to Vegito. The Kaioshins will give them the Potara and they will fuse using it. This one is also the most likely outcome and I'm locking my prediction to that. However, Gajira might still be possible. If you think about it, Gajira would make more sense as it is a temporary form. But the reason that is unlikely to happen is because this state is achieved via the fusion dance as we see in Fusion Reborn movie. But according to the manga continuity, it appears to us that Vegeta never learned the fusion dance. The problem with this is if the movements of the fusion aren't perfect, the fusion might be a total disaster. So since Vegeta doesn't know the dance, how can he do it in such a dire situation? But wait, what if Vegeta knows the fusion dance very well? What if Goku and Vegeta used this form multiple times before and even practiced it in that state? When exactly you ask? Don't forget before the Universal Tournament, Goku and Vegeta spent 3 days, that is 3 years worth of time in the chamber. Think about it, 3 years is a lot. It's more than what we have seen in Super combined. Goku and Vegeta spent 3 fucking years straight behind training. It won't be too much of a surprise if they tried out Gogeta once or twice in this long duration. Ever since Whis started training, he kept mentioning the things they could achieve if they worked together. Whis even went on to say that with proper teamwork, Goku and Vegeta might even end up defeating Beerus and teamwork can't really get much better than a fusion. Also back then, Beerus was not so friendly as he is today. Both Goku and Vegeta is desperate to keep Art safe, so maybe they tried out that fusion in the time chamber and after that training, such a dire situation came for the first time. So that's a possibility and this is one legit way they could introduce Gogeta and DBS. In this way, the permanently fused problem would be solved. However, Gogeta fusion lasts for a very short time. In Super Saiyan state, it lasted for 30 minutes, while in SSD4 state, it lasted for around 10 minutes only. But since God form is a more controlled form of key, the opposite might happen and they might get more time. 
Another way Gogeta could happen is if Universe 10 Patara gives a different result, and after Patara fusion they become more like a Gogeta or even the time gap in general and their development combined might result in something different than the Jito. Also there are two sorts of Patara as there are two Kaioshins. If they fail in the first due to Zamasu's interference or something, they would still have another. This leads to another theory that there might actually be a 3 man fusion between Goku, Vegeta and Trunks. However, having all that said, taking everything in consideration, Vegito is still the most likely outcome. We still have one major problem though, as Fuse Zamasu mentioned, he is still immortal, so unless they somehow get the seal from the past or make one, the evil containment wave or Mafuba is going to be worthless too. Episode 66 spoilers mention that after Goku break the ring of light, something strange happens to Fuse Zamasu. Could that be the reason for his downfall? How are they going to defeat the supreme god Zamasu? Bless the comment section with your opinion down below, check out my episode 65 to 66 spoiler video as link. Here. See you in the next Dragon Ball video.